In 1971, a major component of the National Cancer Act was having the National Cancer Institute designate Centers of Excellence, or Comprehensive Cancer Centers. Penn was one of the first centers to receive that prestigious designation. The Abramson Cancer Center has been a force for advancing the fight against cancer for 40 years. By bringing the very best minds together across 37 departments and eight schools at Penn, the Abramson Cancer Center is bringing us ever closer to achieving that worthy goal. The Abramson Cancer Center has a tradition of enormous strength in basic, translational, and clinical research. The Abramson Cancer Center is a crown jewel of Penn Medicine. Peter was absolutely the right person to get the center started. There couldn't have been anyone better. Peter is larger than life. He believed in scholarship, leadership, and mentorship, and he lived that standard every day of his life. Peter was very passionate about cancer research, and he personalized cancer very early on through the identification of the first genetic aberration seen in cancer. At first, there was really no money. We were just struggling to make it exist, but it went beyond our wildest imaginations. It was simply the determination of a young, energetic, somewhat naive bunch of guys that made it possible to start building a cancer center. Buzz had a very strong emphasis on basic research and clinical research, and was an excellent grant writer. He did the lion's share of getting the work in and getting the first core grant funded. Drs. Cooper and Knoll laid the foundation for interdisciplinary cancer care and research. I was proud to follow in their footsteps. John Glick had the vision to understand what a cancer center could be and the ability to create the infrastructure to make it work. The Abramson gift in 1997 represented a major jump start and turning point for the cancer center. Philanthropy can be so powerful our hope is that cancer will be eradicated, if not in my lifetime, in the lifetime of my children and grandchildren. The Abramsons' generosity helped inspire other incredible acts of philanthropy that soon followed. The Rena Rowan Breast Center, the Jordan Center for Gynecologic Cancer, the Roberts Proton Therapy Center, the Marion and Robert McDonald Women's Cancer Risk Evaluation Center, and the Basser Research Center for BRCA, created by Penn alumni Mindy and John Gray. In 1999, we recruited Craig Thompson as the scientific director of the Leonard and Madeline Abramson Family Cancer Research Institute. This was a turning point in the growth of Penn's Cancer Center. From 1998, we witnessed the steady recruitment of outstanding people. Just as importantly, we developed collaborative interactions among researchers across the institution. Also during this time, we expanded our educational programs in cancer biology at the undergraduate, graduate, and medical school levels. We're very proud of our role in educating the next generation of leaders in cancer research and treatment. We were the first cancer survivorship center in the United States to establish an adult cancer survivorship program. When Craig Thompson was our Cancer Center Director, the concept of translational research really matured and became a reality, the way we do cancer research today. I'm proud to be a leader, along with Craig Thompson and Dan Van Hoff, of our Stand Up to Cancer Pancreatic Cancer Dream Team. The Abramson Cancer Center was rated as exceptional by the National Cancer Institute during our last review. In 2011, we were very fortunate to recruit Dr. Chi Dang from Hopkins as the next director of the Abramson Cancer Center. His vision and energy have taken us to new heights in fulfilling our missions. In the 70s, the Cancer Center was more a concept, a kind of experiment. Then in the 90s, we began this period of tremendous growth. The center and its people really blossomed. Today, we're realizing the fruits of this experiment with outstanding clinical care and amazing research. It's poetic that our new Center for Personalized Diagnostics was started in Peter Knoll's original cytogenetics lab. His discovery of the Philadelphia chromosome paved the way for our emerging ability to identify the genetic underpinnings of cancer. 
With our T-cell immunotherapy clinical trials, we now realize that immunotherapy actually works. It was on the fringe before. We have a large effort now to potentially make history, and that this would be the first clinical therapy entirely developed at an academic center. The advances in treating patients with melanoma in the last five years have been truly extraordinary. Today, we are looking for markers to predict who will get cancer, so ultimately we can prevent it. Chi Dang has brought new energy and focus to our research effort with the Translational Centers of Excellence. The Translational Centers of Excellence bring together all of our extensive research resources along with the tremendous clinical ability of our physicians. Technology is helping to transform cancer diagnosis and treatment. Our ability to see and reach tumors has led to more precise treatments for our patients. We pioneered transoral robotic surgery, also known as TORS, for head and neck cancers. Which has transformed the way we treat these difficult tumors. Penn's Proton Therapy Center is the most comprehensive, largest integrated center in the country. Penn has long been a leader in radiation oncology. You need a vision in order to stay at the front of clinical care, research, and training. Oncolink revolutionized how healthcare information could be delivered to the public. And I thought it would be a great way to provide cancer information and build an online community. After I had gone through the testing that determined that I had lymphoma, Dr. Glick sat with me, put his hand on my shoulder, and took out his pad and gave me this note. It simply says, I'm going to be cured. Three years ago, my metastatic melanoma was so advanced I had only a few months to live. I started an immunotherapy trial, and today I'm cancer-free and still fishing. Understanding that I had the BRCA mutation was probably one of the most defined moments in my life. It opened the door for my sisters to be tested, and so that was a gift that I was able to give to them. We want to find ways to educate people today and prevent breast cancer tomorrow. I was one of the first patients to receive T-cell therapy. I feel so fortunate to be part of this moment in history. Penn is a place of hope and miracles. It is the place that gave our family a future of dreams. We recognize the amazing progress that has been made in understanding and treating cancer. At the same time, we acknowledge that much work remains to be done. The answers, though, are within reach. The cure is within. The cure is within. The cure is within. The cure is within. The cure is within.